Hi FossTube, it's Lorna the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Tuesday the 2nd of January 2018. I hope everyone had a really happy Christmas um, and if you don't celebrate, um, if you celebrate something else I hope you really enjoyed that and you really enjoyed December and Happy New Year! We're in 2018. It's hard to believe how quickly 2017 sped by but um, let's make the most of this year. Um, today I am going to go through 2017 as a year in review. Um, unfortunately it's now evening and we've lost all natural daylight. Um, it's just not possible for me to film during the day at the moment. Um, so I'm just grabbing this chance while I have it. So I'm really hoping this turns out okay. Our lights tend to be a bit yellow on the yellow side so there might be a yellow tinge to everything um so i hope that's okay i hope everything shows up okay um but i really just wanted to have this sort of towards the beginning of the year otherwise i'll be waiting another two weeks before i have a chance um, before you know swimming goes back and preschool goes back um so i do have a lot to show you i'm i'm thinking this this video might be a little bit longer than my usual videos um, but yeah, so let's get started. So in 2017, I started with 20 whips. One of those was a UFO, um, that was Tea Time Welcomes. So in actual fact, there were 19 whips carried over from 2016. Throughout 2017, I had 19 new starts and I finished 20, which left 18 whips that I'm taking into 2018. Um, yet again, unfortunately, most of my finishes were from were from projects that I'd actually started during 2017. So again, I'm picking up new projects, finishing those, and kind of leaving the ones um, that I brought into the new year behind. Um, I say every year that I would like to change that trend and it never seems to happen um, but I did achieve I did have some great achievements in my book um, I think they were great and that was finishing Lady of the Mist that was that was a huge whip that was carried over from um, 2000 from 2008 I think I um, I think I, I estimated that's when I started it I don't have any official records of when I started that but um, I estimated it would have been around 2008 so you know that was a huge finish for me I know some people managed to finish two three four mirabilias a year um, that's definitely not me that was my first mirabilia and I thought it was huge I really didn't think I'd finish it until I really got down into it and focused and I managed it and I'm really happy about that um, my other great achievement for me was finishing my first haid. Um, it was only a story key but it wasn't a full haid but or a full size haid but I'm really proud of the fact that I got it done and that was Story Keep Some Enchanted Evening by Randall Spengler um, and that's also hanging on my wall as is Lady of the Mist. Um, I also finished chatelaines, two very 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 small chatelaines but they were finished. Um, so and they were the freebie easter egg and the london bus london bus was intended as a present for my father who turned 70 on saturday um yeah we went out for dinner and he absolutely loved it he was showing it around the table he was so proud of it so i'm thrilled that that was the reaction that he that i got um, from giving him that gift so that was a really good gift i thought that was quite successful um I fully finished 21 projects. Not all of those projects were ones that I'd finished this this uh, 2000 in 2017, but nonetheless, um, that's still a pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Having finished 20 projects and FFO 21 projects, I thought that was that's probably my best ever. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, I reached most of my goals. Now I I kind of had a mid-year in review last year. And I've, I set my goals, um, or I firmed up my goals um, as at the end of June. 
last year so they weren't really year yearly goals but the ones that I did set for the rest of the year at that time um, I met all of them so I'm really happy about that um, I finished 10 full coverage pages and they were on various projects um, but all of my full coverage pieces got some sort of a look in so that was really good um, so the year um, Stitch from Stash that um, I participated in at the start of the year, so the first half of the year, um, I managed a positive balance of $114.84 and I think that's that's pretty good. Um, I haven't participated in it, I didn't participate in it again at the end of last year and I'm not participating in it again at the beginning of this year um, and that's simply because I'm going to some retreats this year I'm going on an overseas trip which I'll talk about in a later video um, and I, I kind of want to leave that I don't want to restrict myself um, when that happens so um, yeah so I might take that up again at the end of this year like in the in the second half of this year but at this stage um, it's not happening at the beginning of this year um, and I read 14 books which isn't a huge number but I didn't really have any reading goals and this year I don't really have any reading goals either so um, I'm just happy to go along with whatever I feel like doing in that regard. So I um, had a finishing video um, which I put up I think last week and I had some really good positive feedback on that so thank you very much everyone who liked and commented on that that video um, I hope you I, I'm glad that those of you who did comment on it enjoyed it and um, I hope that um, if you haven't already seen it you'll go back to see it it's very short I don't actually um, present that video it's just kind of pictures and music so um, yeah they just it just goes through all my finishes for 2017 so that um, this year it's this video is going to be a little bit like um, a whip review um, or a whip parade in that I'm going to go through the whips that came into the into 2017 with me and I'm going to show you what they look like at the beginning of the year and then I'm going to show you what they look like what they look like as at 31st of December I haven't worked on any of the whips that um, okay so the first the only whip I've worked on in 2018 so yesterday and today was a new start that I made yesterday um, which I'll show you briefly now it is this one which I was planning it's Villa Mirabilia and I'm gonna enjoy this one I can tell the colors are amazing um, I haven't got a huge start on it it's a huge piece of fabric um, it's a fat half but that's that's my start on that it's kind of in shadow because of the way the roll the scroll frame is but I always start my pieces where I can at the top so that is the, the top of the arch there so, yeah, and um, I'm really enjoying, well, you know, so far it's just the arch, so I can't say I'm really enjoying it that much so far, but I, I think I will enjoy it, so I'm really happy I've started that one. So that's all I've worked on. Um, yesterday and today so everything I'm going to show you is how it how the project stood as at the end of 2017 so um, let's get started the first I, these, these aren't going to be in any particular order other than I'm going to first show you the older whips and then I'm going to show you the ones I started last year um, in 2017 so these are the whips that um, have, were started before 2017 so, the first one is a piece, a piece, kind of, um, it's Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. I've only done one piece so far, so 
I'm just looking at the back and it is shocking. I've carried threads and oh yeah, <laughs> it looks terrible. Anyway, the front looks okay, I think. Um, my goal for this one is to finish the first line. So that'll be another three pieces um, in that project. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve by the end of this year on this project. Um, so yeah, that's actually how it looked going into 2017 and nothing got done last year because I was focusing on um, a gingerbread village also by Country Cottage Needleworks but I finished that one so that was another huge achievement for me. I'm really happy that one's done. So maybe I can um, work on this very very slowly in 2018. So that's fine. And I hope you don't mind I will be putting things away as I go because um, it is quite late and I don't want to kind of be doing be packing up as well as editing um, late into the night so I hope you don't mind that okay next one is Victorian charm by dimensions This is another one that unfortunately didn't get worked on this year, but this is what it looks like, what it will look like when it's finished. And this is how it started the year, and this is how it finished the year, like that. And I'm kind of, um, my goal for this one. For 2018 is to get down to the halfway which I think is quite achievable I would say halfway would be about maybe there maybe a little bit lower but if I can get these that kind of tower there up to there and these two windows done I'll be happy so I've already got the top bit so it's just another section to do there so this is what this is how I've kind of gone through my goals for each piece, and um, that's what I'm hoping to achieve for um, 2018. Some of them I do want to finish, and my goal is to finish them. But where they're too large to realistically finish, unless I abandon all my other whips, I've just decided to have goals where I finish sections rather than the whole project. And I think that's more realistic than trying to finish the whole lot. So, that's that one. This one is Pinocchio Wishes Upon a Star by MCG Textiles. I understand these are now out of print. Um, is that one? I do have a few in my collection and I don't know whether I'm going to keep going. Um, whether I'm going to keep them to be honest um, this one I really have to be in the right mood to work on it um, I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like at the start of this year I believe I worked on it a little bit this year but not very much so here's what it looks like as at 31st of December 2017 and my goal for this one is to finish the first page um, so I've kind of split split that up into four pages um, like that so I'm hoping to finish that um, if any goal is gonna fail it will be this one because it's something that I really have to be in a specific mood to work on and there's a lot of work left on this one so yeah I'll do my best that's the best I can do um, next one Juliet this is one of my favorite projects and here's what it will look like when it um, finishes.
And here is what it looks like now. So I'm really, really happy with this. Except that I pulled it out of the Q-snap the other day. And I still have another page left on at the end of that. And it's going to come very, very close to the end. So I don't know what I was doing. I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm usually really good at this, um, at working out where to put my project. But I must have mismeasured somehow. And I'm going to run, I'm not going to run out of room. I'm going to have enough room. But it's going to be very, very tight. Both on the end and um, lengthwise. So um, I'm really going to have to pull out that sewing machine and add some fabric to the end um, to both edges to make it easy to work on so but my goal for this one is to finish this row and um, pay um, second the second row along as well so that is five pages in all and I think that's doable so yeah but um yeah i really need to sew on those that extra fabric as soon as possible next one is this one doesn't actually have a name it is by that company which i won't try to pronounce because i know i won't get it right um it is leaflet 76436 and 76437 and that's what it will look like when it's finished. I call this one Mediterranean Avenue, but like I said, there's no actual name on it. So that's that one. And um, here's what it looked like at the beginning of this year. And here's what it looks like now. I'm, I don't know whether I worked on this one if I did, I didn't get much done because, yes, you can see, that's a very, very small start on that. Um, this one is probably one of my older swips. And it's another one where I need to add fabric to the top and the bottom because this is, I'm using the fabric that came in the kit and they really didn't give me enough to work on. But my goal for this one for this year is just to finish the sky. So it's not huge, it's just that little bit there. So yeah the rest of that kind of the rest of that is buildings and stairs and clothes and things so my goal is to finish that little bit up there so that should be achievable another one that i haven't worked on but I started at this one at the end of 2016 and it is Kingdom of Books by Make Your Own Hands and or Make My Own Hands I think um, and like I said I haven't worked on this one at all this year but it's a huge piece let's make sure I'm not showing you the chart yeah, it's just the colour the colour scheme, but um, that's all I've done on that one. And my goal for this one for this year is to finish the first book. So I've started on the left hand side, which is also again where I like to start. I like to start at the top left if I can. Um, so I want to finish this book by the end of this year and I think that's achievable. So let's hope. Yeah. I'm going to pause while I put this one away and I'll be right back. Um, this is Fantasy Triptych by Teresa Winsler and here's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like at the start of this year. And here's where it is now. Um, my goal for this one is to fill in this this bit here. So down to that fold crease mark here there. 
I want to finish all that so I started this one as you can probably tell by the by how much I um, how much I started with I finished I started this one very late in 2016 and um, I then went into 2017 raring to go really wanting to get it done but I can't, I was kind of getting lost a little bit in the pattern so I've changed the way I work on this I'm working I'm treating it like a full coverage piece even though it's not completely full coverage but I'm now working in columns and I'm hoping that will help a little bit sorry that's that one this is a very 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 long term project it's going to take me a long time and that's okay I don't mind anymore Next one is um, Faithful Friends Stocking by Hade. It's another full coverage piece and it will look like this when it's finished. Here's what it looked like at the start of 2017. And here's what it looks like now. So I finished the top row. It is a stocking, so it, it's very narrow at the start and kind of widens as you go down. Um, I think it will get narrower and then become more wide um, as, as it progresses. Um, but my goal for 2018 is to finish the, the second row. So this is all of the first row and I want to finish the second row for this one. So that's that one. And the next one is... Dreaming of Tuscany by Dimension by Gold Collection Dimensions. Yes, Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. And it will look like that when it's finished. And here's what it looked like at the start of this year. And here's where it is now. Now, I recently spoke about how I wasn't enjoying working on this one, but I've decided to put it into my goals anyway, and I really want to finish it. Um, but only if it doesn't kill my stitchy bug. If I find that I'm not working, I'm not stitching, because the thing that I need to work on is this, and I really don't want to work on it, then I'm just going to let it go. Um, but yeah, I really want to just finish it um, I like I love the the design it's um, a Tuscan kind of countryside view and I really I want I would like to frame this and hang it up but you know if it's gonna kill my stitching bug then I'm just gonna dump it because it's not worth it but yeah so my goal is to finish this one so we will see how that goes. Next one is Cinderella on the stairs and it will look like this when it's finished. And here's what it looked like at the start of this year, of 2017. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm really happy with the way this is looking so far. Um, my goal for this one is to finish the top row. I can't remember whether that's another two pages or three pages, but um, yeah, that's my goal for now. So that should be achievable as well. And this is the only full coverage piece that I'm working two over one on 18 count full crosses. The other full coverage pieces I have, I'm doing on 25 count one over one full crosses as well. This one is another really, really old whip. I think this is my oldest um, 
It is Boy King Tutankhamun by Jen Lin. And this one I UFO'd and then pulled out of the UFO pile. Um, I worked on it a little bit in 2017. So here's what it looked like at the start of the year. And this is what it looks like now. This one, um, the reason I hadn't worked on it for so long, and I realized this very quickly when I pulled it out again, is because the metallic threads are impossible to work with. I mean, not impossible because I've done quite a lot of it and a lot of that is the metallic threads. But when I went to work on it again, I don't know whether it's because I'm older and my um, time is a little bit more precious now than it was. I don't know, but um, yeah, this is the metallic threads that came in this kit. I just couldn't work with them anymore. Um, and so I went and I went to my LNS, which is Victoria House Needleworks in New South Wales. And I matched up the colors as best I could to Krennic and I've replaced the metallic threads um, in the kit with Krennic. So I'm obviously not gonna unpick everything I've already done, but um, when I go to work on it again, instead of going for the threads that were in the kit, I'm gonna work with the, the Krennic instead. So my goal for this one is to finish it. So I'm hoping that's doable. And the other one that I had that came into 2017 was Alpine Seasons Garden by Chatelaine, which will look like that when it's finished. I would love to finish this one. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Obviously that's not gonna happen during 2018 because, um, well, you'll see in a minute how much I've how much I have done on it, but um, here's what it start what it started the year with. I'll just see where the top is. All right. This is where it looks like now. What it looks like now. And my goal for this one. For this year is to finish the center piece so that will be basically the hut and the trees in the center there so I'm really hoping to do that I've done the bird I've done the, the clouds um, so yeah I'm hoping to finish that scene um, by the end of 2018 so that is what I started 2017 with. They're the whips that are remaining after at the end of 2017. Um, I'm going to pause again and I'm just going to make sure that I have got everything there and I haven't missed any um, and then I'll be right back with the ones that I had started um, during 2017. Okay so the ones that I took into 2017 um, they that was those the ones that were started during 2017, of the 19 that I started during 2017, um, I finished most. I've only got one, two, three, four, five. I've only got six that I'm bringing into 2018. Um, I had actually started 20, but one of them was, um, I decided to not to finish that. Um, by the way, that was Christmas greetings, which I will give away. Um, I've already got the winners, and um, at some point I will film a very quick video announcing those winners, and I'm just going to put that up on its own. Um, it will be during this week. Um, it may or may not contain me saying anything, but um, yeah, I'm just really pressed for time um, this week, so. But I don't want to leave it any longer, so I will be back um, to give to do the giveaway results for that. Um, okay, so the ones I started this year in uh, in 2017 in no particular order. Um, 
this one, Jane Austen at the Christmas Ball. And I am working on this one as part of the Jane Austen Reading and Stitch Along group, which I will link below. And it is by Brooks Books Publishing. And um, this is what it looks like at the moment. And my goal for this one is to finish it. Or at least finish the stitching on this one. Um, so the first book that we will be reading this year um, as part of that group is Sense and Sensibility. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to start that really, really soon. I do have my own copy, so um, I'm going to pick that up. I've just finished a book, which I will talk about in my next update. And... Um, so yeah, my reading book, my reading bug is kind of coming back. I'll talk about that later on. Um, another one I started um, during 2017 is another Hade, and it's called Story Keep Secret Door, and it will look like this when it's finished. And here is what it looks like now. I'm really loving this piece um, and my goal for this one is to finish it. I would really like to finish it before its anniversary so hopefully I want to finish it within the within a year so that's my goal for this one. Um, yeah I, I love it too I'm really enjoying working on that one. So I want to give it a bit more time next year, or 2018. Next one is... Lady Bird Fairy, Joan Elliott. She is beautiful. And I didn't give this one the time it deserved. It was for Joan Elliott July that I started this one. And... Um, I only worked on it a little bit during that month. I think I only worked on it for a week and then I kind of never got back to it. Um, but here is what she looks like at the moment. And she's turning out really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, this fabric is a hand dyed fabric by Colour Cascade Fabrics called Jaded. So yeah, she's, she's really pretty. My goal for her this to finish this year I don't want I don't I would like to finish it this year but it's not going to happen realistically so my goal is to finish the the skin up the top so not her legs but her arms her neck her face etc up there so that's the goal for this one I'm not doing skin um, one over one on any of my pieces at this stage Unless they're charged at white light. So this one is charged for two over two over two, and that's how I will be working on it. Um, now this one. This was a recent start, and it is Summer Queen by Mirabilia, and. It will look like that when it's finished and I am doing this one as a stitch along with Aussie Stitcher, Belinda. Hi Belinda if you're watching. Um, really enjoying this one as well. Um, so this is Summer Queen. What we're doing is starting each of the seasons queens as the seasons start. So my next, um, my next Mirabilia start will be um, Autumn Queen when we start Autumn here in Australia. Sorry, by the way, speaking of summer, um, I've got the air conditioner on. It is a really hot evening, at least it is inside. I think, I believe it's cooled down quite a bit outside, but I've closed all the doors now because it's dark. And um, yeah, so I've just got the air conditioner on. So if you can hear that buzzing in the background, I know it's a little late in the day to be saying that, but that's what that is. Anyway, um, this is Summer Queen and 
here's what it looks like now and this is being stitched on another color cascade fabric called Indian Sunset and my goal for her was to finish the the head the hair the face the neck and the shoulders and I'm done on that goal but I am continuing to work on her because I want to finish I want to kind of put in give her her fair share of time during summer so still got another two months to go on that one but I'm really glad I started it I was, I'm really enjoying it um, so yeah, I did work on that one since the last time you saw it so um, I only worked on three though um, of the ones that I'd started in 2017 the end of this year oh and I got my beads that was the only haul I got um, over the last couple of weeks the beads for Summer Queen so she's now completely kitted up another one that I worked on over the last couple of weeks was Afternoon in London by Country Cottage Needleworks and here's what it will look like when it's finished Here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. And this one is another color cascade fabric called Island of Avalon. And I love it. It's, it's an opal fabric. I think it's an Opal Lugana. Um, it's coming out really well and my goal for this one is to finish it. So that is that. And then last but not least is Emerald Mermaid, which I am also really enjoying. Um, my other Mirabilia. So I currently have two Mirabilias, on, three Mirabilias on the go since I started Villa Mirabilia. So yeah, going from only restricting myself to working on one to working on now three and um, as you'll see in a moment, I've got quite a few others that I want to start. So that's what she'll look like when she's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. Here's what it looks like now. So I am really happy with, with the way this one's turning out. And my goal for her is to finish this year. And I don't think that will be a problem um, but yeah, really enjoying her. She's so pretty. So I'm really happy. Um, mermaids were never really my thing until I did the Passion Ericamo under the moonlight one. And that was a mermaid, but that was kind of, I went into that. It was a mystery. It was very much a mystery. I had no idea what that one was going to be. And when it was a mermaid, I was a little bit disappointed because mermaids really aren't my thing. But um, I'm happy now that it's finished and framed and up on my wall. And my daughter has been showing a real interest in mermaids. Um, she's watched The Little Mermaid. And um, so I kind of thought about mermaids that, sorry, itchy nose. Um, I kind of thought about the mermaids that Mirabilia puts out. And I saw this one, I think it was on Stash Unload and I bought it. And I'm really happy with the way she's turning out. And I now have ordered another one. So that's on its way. Um, but I'll show you that when it arrives. So they're the ones that were started during 2017 and the way they look now. Um, I'm going to pause again and I'm going to just make sure that I've got all of them. And then I'll, I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to go over... Um, starts that I'm actually planning um, so projects I'm actually planning to start during 2018 and their goals um, so the first one 
is Gardens of Notre Dame by Ingleside Imaginarium. This is a mystery, um, it's a mystery cell. We have the um, border and the first dragon as at this moment, not dragon, chimera it's called, which is a bit like a gargoyle. Um, and I'm really looking forward to working on this one. I'm waiting on a one, two, three stitch order, which contains the um, most of the most of the threads that I need. Um, there's three three skeins of one color of gast and three skeins of one color one of the DMC colors. Um, and because although I have that DMC color in my stash. Um, because there's three skeins of it, I wanted to order them all at once so that I have the same dye lot and I didn't have the guest in my stash. So I'm just waiting on that before I start it, but um, I'm really looking forward to at least getting the first chimera in um, by the end of this month. So that's that one and my goal for that one is to keep up um, throughout the months and to finish it by the end of the year. Um, another plan start was Villa Mirabilia, which I showed you at the beginning of this video. Um, another plan start is Autumn Queen by Mirabilia, which I believe is now out of print, but I managed to find it. And I will be starting this on the 1st of March this year, um, along with Belinda from Aussie Stitcher. So I'm looking forward to that one. The next one um, is Winter Queen by Mirabilia as well and here's what this looks like. I think this one is still readily available at this point in time and um, I haven't kitted her up yet but that's okay I'm, I'm kind of I've still got time for that. Um, so I will be starting this one on the 1st of June um, this year and working on her throughout the winter months. And then Spring Queen, which is out of print as well. Um, so that's that one, and I'll be starting this on the 1st of September, which is the first day of spring in Australia, and working on her throughout the spring months of the year. And then when December comes around again, I will go back to Summer Queen. Um, these ones, all my all the goals on these ones are to finish the top half of skin. So to finish all their hair and to finish the um, up to where the dress starts on each one and I think I managed that really easily on Summer Queen so I think that's fairly achievable. Another one that I want to start is Prairie Schooler ABC. I do have the whole set of these. Um, that's ABC there. I've decided I was going to work on this on one piece of fabric but I'd really like to have this hanging up in my daughter's room and I didn't want it to cost the earth to frame which it will if I put it all on one piece of fabric. There's no way there's going to be a frame out there that's going to fit it um, on that kind of size fabric. Um, and I really want it to look good. So I didn't want to sort of make do with a frame. Um, so what I've decided to do is to fit it on um, three pieces of A4. So it will fit in into three A4 frames. A4 in Australia is 21 centimeters by about 27 and a half centimeters, which is approximately eight inches, a little bit over eight inches by 12. Um, I think it's comparable to your or to America's um, 9 by 11 I think. A little bit like that but, but ours is slightly narrower and longer. Um, but yeah we can really or very easily obtain frames that are A4 size and I've worked out the size fabric I need to put nine pieces of nine of the, the letters on each piece of fabric to fit it into an A4 frame. So um, I've ordered that, it's on its way from 123 Stitch as well and um, I will start with ABC and by the end of this year my goal is to finish this one. And it's only three letters. It should be, um, like a lofty goal would be to finish the first nine 
I know I won't finish the lot, but I'll be happy if I've just finished A, B, and C. So, um, yeah, so when that fabric arrives, I will be able to start that. Now, another one that I've really wanted to start for a long time now is The Six Wives of Henry VIII by The Primitive Hair. I'm really looking forward to starting that. And my goal for this one is just to finish one of the wives. Um, so I'll be going in a chronological order with Catherine of Aragon. Um, yeah, if I finish her and the crown, I'll be very happy. And the Tudor at the top. Yeah, I'll be happy with that. And I already have the fabric for that. It, came, it also came from the Primitive Hair and it is called Old Salem Linen. It is a 30 count linen. So I'll be using that, which is the recommended fabric. And then another one that I will want to start hopefully really soon is Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. I have the fabric, I have all of the guest. Um, it calls for several guests, so I'm going to show you. All of those are guests up to these last two, our week's dye works, and I haven't got those. I've decided that I will work with the guests that's recommended, but the week's dye works I'm going to change to DMC because from personal experience, week's dye works doesn't variegate that much, but um, guest tends to. I could be completely wrong in that, but that's been my experience so far. So um, that's the way I've decided to spend my money. Now I have got a white piece of fabric for this one, but I thought even though I I swore I would never do this, I thought I would dye my own fabric with tea. So just I'm going to start slow, <laughs> um, and I'm going to tea dye some of that white fabric. Um, just so that it gives it that kind of aged look. So I'll see how I go with that. And then last but not least is a chart that I actually don't have yet. Excuse me. Um, Andrea from I Heart Cross Stitch. Hi Andrea if you're watching. Has been working on the Kiss by Mirabilia. And it has long been out of print. But when I saw her working on it I absolutely had to have it. It's been one of those kind of charts where if I see it, I've only got a couple now that I'm, I'm really after, but it's been one of those ones that if I see it, I'm going to get it. Um, it's, I saw it on eBay a couple of months ago and it started off at about, I think it was 30 US, no, 30 Australian dollars with, for everything. So the whole kit. And I thought, wow, that's really good. But the bid kind of went up and it got to a ridiculous amount. And um so i let that one go um so yeah i will get it only if it's a reasonable price now there is um this is actually a store that um, belinda mentioned in one of her videos and i'm gonna i'm gonna put the name here because i cannot remember what it is but um the lady has a facebook group the owner has a facebook group and what she does is collects um out of print um charts if she sees them if she comes across them she collects them she adds um, the bead pack and she will, she will sell them together so she won't just sell the chart she'll sell the bead pack with it but she will sell them at normal retail price rather than the crazy prices that you find on eBay and she had the kiss I think she had two copies so I ordered one and I ordered a few other things with it because her prices are really reasonable and um, she's just waiting on those to come in before she sends them out to me and um, yeah I'm lo really looking forward to that and I think once I kit that one up um, so once I get the fabric and I'm not sure if I'll need a different like if I'll need to buy fabric for that one or find something in my stash for it but I want it to be perfect and I'm going to take my time in kitting it up and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to starting that one so I'm, I've put it as a planned start and um, my only goal on that one is to just kit it up and have fun with it so I'll just start it whenever 
so that's it um, it is going to be a really long video when I edit it and everything so um, I don't know what we're up to but I think it's going to be pretty close to about 45 minutes um, which is long for me um, so I'm not sure when it will be loaded it will either be overnight or first thing tomorrow morning um, but yeah thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this thank you so much for watching um, enjoy the rest of your January but I'm hoping to be back when preschool starts back for my daughter so that um, I have that kind of time to to sit down and do a video without interruption um, she's fast asleep at the moment so and my husband's away for work so um, yeah it's just been really hard to sit down and do anything over the holidays and now that the holidays are over he's kind of um, not able to help me because he's not here um, so yeah this is the best time the best I could do but I hope you enjoyed that if you stuck around thank you so much for watching and for um, subscribing and commenting on previous videos if you have any questions please feel free to leave them below I know I sort of rushed through this but there, there was a lot to get through um, and I will hopefully see you in a couple of weeks um, so stay, stay safe and happy stitching bye everyone